This is the uh, Q Pro LT5500. This pack is pretty waterproof. Zippers, but it's not 100% waterproof. Whatever is in this pack will get wet. And that's all there is to it. We have been raining for over a week here in Tennessee, and I mean 24-7. And I sat on my porch watching it rain, and I was thinking, there's no way this pack would deal with that. And... With the weather changing, I mean, I can look at the weather and I can say, okay, it's going to be a beautiful couple of days. I'm going to go out. But I even seen the weather change. I was like, well, they were wrong about that. And they don't always get it right. So I had to rethink my setup for my bag. And um, basically, I've got a four-setup-proof uh, four way of keeping everything completely dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this setup and whoever else has the um, QE Pro LT5500 or even any bag from QE or even a different bag from a different manufacturer they may want to try this. And uh, it took me a while to get this figured out. So I will uh, come back to you in a minute with what, what I'm doing here. This here is a pack cover, and this covers my pack, and it keeps the majority of the rain off of it. And I had this handmade a long time ago. You can buy them all over Amazon. And uh, I always carry this in the pack. So let me get this on and show you what it looks like. Now, this thing's quite huge, as you can see. I had it made really, really big. Is what I did. Let me see if I can turn this around for you. And you'll notice it's not on the back at all. So can water get into this? It can. It's not 100%. I would say it's 98%. But the water can still get into it somewhat even with this on. So you have to think of it as different levels of protection. Now, I have a poncho that I had handmade, made out of multicam, and it's heavier than most of your ponchos on uh, Amazon. But those are fine, too. You can get them for like 20, 30 bucks. And it will actually cover, even when my bow is on the back, my, um, the poncho goes over top of this, right over top of this. And so it's keeping me dry. But it's keeping the backpack dry. So I would still put this on in case my uh, waterproof poncho started to soak through. I mean, when you get out there and it's raining for, say, four hours straight, nonstop, and you're in a downpour, it really is hard to keep your gear dry. And that's why I've taken a lot of effort to do that. So my first level is an actual rain poncho that goes on top of me. My second step is the pack cover, which keeps most of the rain off. My third uh, step is a pack liner, and uh, those are hard to find. Um, I'm using an Osprey pack liner, but you can use a trash packer bag or a garbage bag. I prefer an actual pack liner. So if you're using a Kiwi Pro LT5500 and you might want to look into a pack liner. The problem with the pack liner is with this particular pack, you have, you know, a zipper on the side is what you have. And that allows you to get into your pack. As soon as you add a pack liner, that zipper is useless because everything's inside the pack liner. But I'm going to show you that. Okay, I took everything out of the pack. Um, keep in mind, the pack is kind of slumping. It usually sits a little higher. This is the actual Osprey pack liner. And you can see how big it is compared to the, the pack would probably come to there. Okay, so that's quite a pack liner. All right, it's just a big bag. It's basically waterproof. 
and you fold it up like so when you got the stuff in it, bring it around and clip it. Okay, now this is the next step to the protection. So when you add it inside your pack, this would go first. And there's nothing else in the pack at all. And then everything would basically get packed inside that Osprey pack liner is what would happen with that. Okay, let's look at this entire system I created. So the first line of fence is my poncho which is a complete raincoat that goes over top of the pack, it goes over top of me, everything's covered. Okay, the rain gets through that somehow. Maybe it goes through my hood. Maybe somehow it gets through. Second line of defense is the pack cover, which I showed you. So that gives it a little bit more. Third line of defense is the... Um, Osprey um, pack liner. Fourth line of defense is a CV Summit evac bag. Now in here is my quilt. My quilt has feathers in it. If my quilt gets wet, I'm done. That is the end. There is no warmth anymore. So I protect that With, with all my being to make sure nothing gets wet. So with this system set up, and you figure what is that, uh, poncho one, pack cover two, liner three, and then this in its own bag, four. So I have a four stage way of keeping everything dry, no matter what. Now this would also work in wet snow, sleet, hail, rain, you name it. Anything is super wet is going to protect it. And that is the key. Normally, I don't really care that much about... Usually, I just run one of these bags and that's it. But the weather is changing so much all across everywhere. Global warming, whatever you want to call it. But um, I've never, ever seen it rain for a whole week in Tennessee. When I seen that, I went, oh, no, no, no. i got to change. Now, I've probably added good pound and a half more to my pack to create all that dryness no matter what is what I've done but if you're running you know a QU Pro LT 5500 or probably even the bigger packs the Osprey pack liner will work and it's a large it's good for 100 liters this pack is 90 liters I have a lot more space that I could run but um, now you could just put a garbage bag in or you could run a trash compactor bag, but they really don't seal at the top. You kind of got to tie them up and, and then run them mess with that. I, I knew if I just put a regular pack liner, things would just be a whole lot easier. But um, this is the system I've come up with. So to me, if I'm walking in and it's pouring, there is no way this is going to get wet. And this is so important to stay dry. Um... I would have another bag put around my tent. I want that to stay as dry as possible. Um, my clothes, I want them to stay as dry as possible. So there's a few things I would have these um, evac bags around as a last resort. Now, I doubt very much it'll get through the raincoat to the pack liner. I doubt very much. But if it does... At least I have all these protections where I can't see anything getting wet unless something goes wrong. I can't see what. But this is pretty much what I've come up with with this four-part system just to keep everything dry no matter what. And like I said, because this is feather, it is very important to keep that dry no matter what. Feather is super light and it holds a lot of warmth, but there's, there's no way you want it to get wet whatsoever. So if you're running a Q Pro LT5500 or something bigger, the um, 
Osprey pack large liner because it, it'll go up to 100 liters will definitely work or any other pack for that matter look at how many liters your pack is and then look at the Osprey pack liner and then you'll pretty much know what you need I'd say go a little bit more so that way so you got some width when you put stuff in your pack all right catch you guys later